Kanga. Good evening, and thank you so much for your time, Tulisile. Firstly, you know, you're one of the scholars on the continent that's seen as being somebody who's practiced this indigenous knowledge system academic stream and done that with distinction, recognize the continent over. So perhaps in your own words, describe for us what exactly is ethnomathematics? Ethnomathematics uh, is a relationship between culture and uh, mathematics. So we're saying African people have been using mathematics um, in their art, have been using mathematics to, uh, you know, to, 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 to have such innovations, I mean, uh, inventions like the lunar calendar. <clears throat> Therefore, African people have been using mathematics to calculate time, to calculate a season and shows how advanced uh, African civilization is. Therefore, um, African people have never been in stone age as it has been claimed in the past. Basically, we've been mathematicians and scientists who have recorded our ways of doing and being uh, through our, uh, in, in, in different ways that we, we know. I mean, if you look at Egyptian pyramids, you could clearly see that there is a civilization in, in Africa. There was civilization before colonialism and before you know, um, people coming in and invading Africa. So ethnomathematics is the relationship between culture and mathematics. However, this term needs to be corrected and we should be using the term African mathematics because ethno usually um, you know, our companies actually doesn't define us as Africans. So African mathematics is the relationship between culture and, 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 and um, uh, between uh, uh, relationship between culture and, and mathematics. 